out of freaking nowhere, we got a Smash Brother 3.0 trailer. It showed off the Joker, the first Joker gameplay. We got confirmation of the stage builder with some brand new features. A video editor, which looks very much like the Vegas we already use. Um, yeah. And Smash World actually doesn't look bad. Derek, it's time for us to talk about this. Unfortunately, no one else is around or their equipment wasn't working, so it's just you and me this time. We're rocking it old school, baby. <laughs> yeah, seriously, thank God uh, I play Persona. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Jesus, that would have been a pretty boring discussion otherwise if we're just me <laughs> waxing uh, poetic about something I don't know about at all. So, uh -huh. Derek, Joker, how hyped are you based on what you saw of his gameplay? He looks great. Uh, he, he looks really interesting. The fact that he has... Uh, kind of enhanced moves. He makes him a little bit like Cloud, but also very different from Cloud in how his moves get enhanced and how you go about it. Because Cloud only gets one move. Joker gets uh, his persona <laughs> for quite a while. Yeah, all of his moves. Well, he he only gets to use one move before, before he loses it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so good. It's such a... Like, so many good callbacks and love letters to this series just not only for J joker himself but in terms of persona 5 in general and whatnot and we'll, and we'll definitely get into that but just looking at joker himself the design is good i like that they have his alternate outfit be his uh, school uniform that makes a lot of sense one of his taunts has morgana come in that cat thing that you saw um, it, it all works really well as a fan. If you're a fan of Persona, you're looking at this moveset, it feels good. The one thing that we did not call, because John did that whole moveset video, is we thought he might use multiple Personas, but no, he's sticking with just one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as one is not a fan of Persona simply by virtue of not having played it, I still thought he looked pretty darn cool. Um, you don't have to be a fan of a character to enjoy to enjoy who they are and, or how they play. And Joker definitely looks pretty neat. They're doing some unique stuff with him, which to me still blows my mind they can come up with unique attributes after 70 plus characters. <laughs> um, so like, you know, the whole the whole rebellion gauge thing, of course, um, building that up and powering up all his moves for a brief period of time afterward. Um, I like his down special. I believe it's uh, was a reels guard. Derek, or uh, something? Yeah, I, I, oh boy, I didn't use those counterattacks very often. But <laughs> the real, yeah, the guard mode, the guard one, um, in which you can actually uh, not, you can build your, you can build your meter uh, by blocking attacks while taking half damage. So that's pretty unique. You're not invincible, but it is reducing damage while filling your meter, which is going to act as a future consequence for whoever's dealing damage to you, most likely. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool about that is it's usually like, like those counter moves or that kind of stuff is only for just one time and you got to get the timing right. But here, it builds up. You can last through an entire combo and really build up that meter, and that's very unique for Smash. Th exactly. That's what's so interesting about it is that it's people who aren't good uh, uh, timing those counters might really like Joker for that reason because you don't have to time it that well. Granted, you're still taking some damage during it, but you're also benefiting it, benefiting from it at the same time, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, and it just increases it, and you're not going to have uh, Arsene for a long time, but man, just seeing how his recovery, like, you saw that comparison they did, uh, yeah. showing how much Arsene recovers, and that's I think it's going to be really potent, and can we just say for the fact, and I know a lot of people are already talking about this, you know, we have a character in Smash using a gun. Not even Snake was allowed to do that. He had to use explosives. No, we have a guy using a gun. Yes, now, granted, in terms of Persona, it's an airsoft gun made real, but still. <laughs> right. Uh, I guess Bayonetta kind of, like, bridged that gap a little bit with her I guess that's shoe true, yeah. guns. So, which, I guess they're not actual guns. Hey, and Captain Falcon literally carries a gun on his belt, okay? He may not be <laughs> using it, but he's got one. He's ready. <laughs> yeah, good point, good point. So, I guess it's not completely unheard of, but it's just, it's really funny to see, and yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm curious, like, do you think, I mean, of course you're going to try him out, but uh, do you think he could be one of your mains just looking at him? Uh, I mean, just looking at him, I mean, he does look he does look to be a fast character, and I do tend to gravitate toward them. Um, not entirely, because I'm a K. Rule fan, obviously. Um, <laughs> but I do, he did look like he, uh, he looked like he controls in the manner that I would enjoy. Um, so I do like those kind of squ quick sprite characters. It looks like he has a lot of options available. I think I'm going to dig his uh, grappling hook, which is, you know, it's got a massive range, and it gets out there pretty quick, as you would expect from a grappling hook. And I love that it can pull characters to you. So you can use it to recover, or you can use it to pull characters toward you. A little bit like Isabelle's uh, fishing rod, which I thought was interesting. So mm -hmm. That'd be really... Oh man, it'd be really funny if you're trying to get back to the stage and you accidentally grab the person and you both end up going down. <laughs> that would be pretty great. So That'd be a, just a good troll move. <laughs> it absolutely would. 
And then also beyond all that, I like how I just like how flashy he looks. He's got a sense of style to him that not a, a lot of characters necessarily have, you know, by virtue of their design. Wario's not a stylistic character, for instance. <laughs> Bayonetta is. Um, so yeah, I liked how it looked, and his stage as well. Mementos looks super cool in terms of visuals, at least. Um, mm -hmm. It's a super flashy look. I like how it changes, uh, how its appearance, cha appearance changes based on what music is playing from whichever Persona game that uh, the song came from. Yeah, and that was actually a big point of contention because we know, you know, we had that um, data mine where we saw that it was going to be Mementos. It was kind of a, a, a given at this point, unless they pulled the rug out from under us. And a lot of people were upset about that because Mementos in Persona Five is boring. It, it's the same music. It's it's just not ever exciting, and it gets really repetitious. So people were like, "Really, Mementos? I mean, it makes sense, but it, it it's it's not exciting." They found a way to actually make it look interesting. The way there was actually something above, so you actually bounce off the ceiling. The train going across the bottom, so you can actually bounce off that. How uh, different characters come in, which is a really great touch that you always have to have those other characters in there and really show that off. And even having platforms appear. There is so much going on here that makes it more interesting. And as you said, the, the little thing they did with the music, never seen that in any other Smash game before. And... It's so cool to see them pull from not just Persona 5, but Persona 4 and 3, because they also have great tunes, and we're only getting 12 songs, but we're actually getting new arrangements of some of those songs, and these are 12 really good songs. So, just a great choice all around, and a great way to cover the the, the series as after it became popular, because 1 and 2 are very different, so we're, people mainly focus on 3 through 5. Not to be that guy, but just to prevent the other that guys in our audience. <laughs> um, I think there are 11 tracks. Or did Is it say 11? I thought I heard 12. I'm not sure. Maybe this had 11 other tracks, so I don't know. I think it's 11, but somewhere in that range. And mm -hmm. even if that number is a little bit on the lower end, Derek, that's still a six times as many songs as the Final Fantasy stage has. So. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, I will say for as cool visually as the stage itself looks, and I like you know, um, some of the dynamic elements going on there, the basic design itself looks pretty bland, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it looked like Battlefield minus a platform with a staircase. Yeah, I, I, I think that's fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's pretty fair. So that's, I mean, mm -hmm. there's only so many ways you can change up that, that basic stage design. At least they tried to find ways to make Mementos unique and interesting. So, right. Yeah, it looks like probably... Um, I mean, I think it's, it's ending up better than a lot of people perhaps feared it would. So I guess, you know, that is a net gain. And who knows, it could be very fun to play on. I enjoy Battlefield anyway, so... Um, this is a flashier version of this is a flashier version of Battlefield that actually is oh, pretty okay in my book. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Derek, anything else about Joker you think we should know that you noticed? Uh, I, that, that victory animation is pulled directly from the game, like just straight out of the game. The Morgana hitting the camera, Morgana being part of his taunts, also good. Uh, it's just it really you really do get the sense that Sakurai loves Persona and just wanted to get as much of that personality in there as possible and it just works it really does as a longtime fan and i really hope this pushes more people to try out persona hopefully it does come to the switch because i think this is a great way to bridge that audience and be like man this character is really cool i need to see what this is all about uh not everyone has three thousand hours derek to go to invest into <laughs> oh persona. you only need 120 <laughs> to beat the game <laughs> Oh man. So yeah. So you're pretty happy with, with how the Joker turned out. Then is he like? Is he? Does he live up to your expectations for what you had hoped he would be? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think it looks great. Uh, I love how they found ways to incorporate the characters and just just nailed it. Really, really did. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. Like, I mean, again, Sakurai really shows it goes above and beyond. Well, him and his team. Uh, above and beyond and capturing the essence of these characters and making them work within Smash while still playing uniquely. That's a crazy thing, like I said. Um, after 70 characters, they're still finding ways to make them stand out, and that's pretty impressive, so... Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and move on to some of the other uh, highlights of the Direct, and let's go ahead and move on, to, I think, to the video editor, because we don't want to blow our entire load <laughs> at the start. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good point. So, uh, so yeah, we, we a surprise announcement here. I don't think anyone quite saw this coming. They added a video editor in which it allows you to uh, combine different video clips from uh, that you've already saved using the the built-in you know uh, gameplay save function or the replay function. You can edit them down. You can add cool little transitions transitions between them. The editor looks surprisingly robust. Like as I said at the beginning, it doesn't look too far uh, too far removed from the from the 
uh, uh, from our very own video editors we use to make the videos that you're watching right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's surprisingly similar. You know, obviously, just working in shorter bursts since we can only have like I think 30 second clips for that sort of thing. But a brilliant way to like you know check hey check this out or check this stage out or check this out and you know really get that social presence on there get people talking getting people sharing and there's some elements in here that we wanted to see in mario maker too uh, you know there's a lot of those like ideas like being able to follow a, a specific person i love how they in, uh, they uh kind of reference the meme that's going around with smash where you have a character getting like go transitioning from stage to stage and then ending up in a completely different one and it's it's kind of fun there and they had that same sort of thing with uh i believe inkling uh popping up through a couple different stages so i, I like how they're a little self-aware yeah that's always pretty great so let's go ahead and move on to smash world so smash world you first heard about this uh, a few months ago now i believe and uh, they actually delivered on their promise, providing a a world for Smash, essentially. <laughs> um, basically, it's a social network for Smash, right? It brings up stages, it brings up uh, videos or pictures, I think. Uh, all kinds of media, looks like, that people are sharing through the app. They can then watch on your phone, or as you were saying, you, I believe you can follow creators. Um, you can download stages instantly uh, to your own game via the app. Like, this actually looked pretty darn cool. Like, this actually might get me to open up this app more than the ones I have already. <laughs> because mm. this, this exists as part of the existing Nintendo Switch Online app, much as uh, Splatoon 2 already does as well, I believe. Yes, I believe so. So, yeah, it's just built in right, th right there. You can access it really quickly, and it seems pretty well organized, and just there's a lot of smart additions, and even attached to the whole uh, other aspect that uh, we'll, we'll get into later, but it just seems smartly designed, really easy to use, and really just a great way to promote it, because, come on, somebody's going to come up with a really clever video that everybody's going to share, and, you know, they, they have all those like things, so you can probably sort by how many likes they have, and it's just an easy way to promote this game. It's like, hey, check out this stuff, and boom, free advertising. Because did they say whether you can post it to Twitter or not, or is it just within the app? Oh, I, I don't think I did. I did notice the videos are uh, are via YouTube Gaming, so I'm not sure if these videos are also going or are also going to be discoverable on YouTube as well. Um, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but I, did, I don't think they mentioned any Twitter support or anything, so... Mm -hmm. Which makes sense, because maybe it doesn't, doesn't seem like there's a time limit on it. It's hard to right. say. Um, as you were saying earlier, though, I do think this might offer a possible hint as to what we may be getting in the Mario Maker 2 app or uh, support. But I feel like there will probably be a Mario Maker 2 app in a similar fashion, or I hope so now. After seeing this, I want a Mario Maker 2 app, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Smash World actually looks pretty neat. Um, and it's largely because of another new feature being Stage Builder. Um, and this time, Derek... It actually looks really good. Um, granted, I have to wait until I, get, I can go hands-on with it myself, uh, but you know, we had a whole discussion on what it could be based on the leak from a, a few days ago, and I have to say, they kind of uh, lived up to most of what I wanted them to do. Uh, it appears that you can have like full backgrounds from, from the game already in uh, as part of your stage. They're adding multi-layer support, so you can add background and foreground elements that are you know non-interactive. They're just there to look cool. They add detail to your stage. And then you can add moving platforms. So one awesome example they gave, uh, they, they designed an entire R-Wing that was like doing barrel rolls, I believe. Or they had a Captain Falcon with like a moving arm that went up and down. And that's such a, like a cool thing I didn't even think about. Um, so while I didn't get my toy box, they kind of made up for it with this cool like uh, ability to really design uh, these moving elements to your stage. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more personality to it, which I think helps a lot. Yeah, you can have those backgrounds, you can do some really fun things with it. The layering is is really interesting. Uh, I still don't know how much I'm going to use it because I'm just not that creative because I'm looking at these stages and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could never do that. It's just too it's just too good. Like there's some really fun ideas in here and I like how they have those elements and you can see the layers and really make something special. But what I am happy about is how it connects to Smash World because all of a sudden I can take a look at the really cool levels that everybody else has and download it to my game and then play their stuff instead. That is a cool element to that and I think that's what kind of kind of makes Smash World that much more interesting rather than like showing videos like yeah it's kind of cool to check out other pe people's videos but getting new stages to play <laughs> that's cool absolutely and they already made some pretty cool ones in there they had the one based on the tile screen of Super Mario Brothers 3 <laughs> I love that I, they had the curtain rise that's they had the so curtain awesome. rise. how cool is that 
That is, mm. So I want to see like if that's like a one-time thing or does it keep opening and closing, which could be fun in its own right too. Like we just can't see what's going on <laughs> at points during the battle. Um, yeah. So, Even the so, unique elements are kind of cool. Like they have those tele those portals now. Right. Yeah. I, which you can make a haven't... portal stage, a stage based on yeah. Oh that game. my god, Derek! I'm gonna have so much fun with this. I think so. Yeah. This is where you're gonna shine. <laughs> the closest thing I could think of to the portals that we've seen in existing stages is like how some of the old school arcade stages, like uh, Mario Brothers, has you teleport from one end to the other. It's not quite a true teleport because you're. I don't know. I don't quite know how to describe it, but it's similar enough that that, that could work. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I love that they're adding new features. I like how they seem to retain the drawing feature of the Wii U combined with the more conventional tile-based movement of a uh, Brawl, it seems. Um, because it looked like there were some like uh, platforms that were designed uh, using the docked editor. I don't think they showed too much of that, but that's what that's my takeaway from it. That's, mm -hmm. that's still grid-based. Um, and I, and I want to dive in and see what other new elements they have. The only element they're missing, as I said, or seemingly missing, are the, uh, like, the toy box features where you can bring in, um, like, assets from other stages um as far as far as i can tell it doesn't seem to be there but again you can kind of draw your own in this case and make them move in a manner similar to how they might in the actual stages so yeah i, I have a feeling we won't get those elements just because they actually you know, we we have our wings from that angle uh thanks to venom so yeah if we get if we can't just use that 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 to me tells me we're not going to get elements from those stages maybe we'll get a few and we, we don't know yet um but it is definitely possible and uh, I, I think the the possibility for creativity here is so much greater than anything we've had before with the stage builder. It actually makes it somewhat exciting. And even the original elements, I, I know people are already looking a little bit closer to this, but you notice the one original thing they did was involved a green-skinned witch yeah. for a stage. Hmm, that's a little... Uh, suspicious don't you think <laughs> or it's just another one of those swerves that uh, we we sometimes get where we overthink like could be this nah <laughs> well what are you thinking well of course grunty <laughs> gruntilda oh man i didn't pick up on that so oh really oh I, I as soon as i saw that green witch i'm like well that could be gruntilda <laughs> that would be amazing derek I mean, there are there are four more characters and they're coming out uh within the next 10 months so yeah all right, I think um, we covered most of the main features. Anything uh, besides the Mii costumes, but I don't really care that much about them. I guess there's some <laughs> new Sonic ones, right? So The new Sonic ones, they have ones based on the Persona, some Persona characters, which makes sense. So there's yeah. a cool way to get the Persona 4 and Persona 3 protagonists in there. You know, it, it's things you'd expect. So, yeah, I mean, there's not really much else. I guess the only other thing I can think of is the fact that everybody thought Home Run Contest was going to be the other mode. Good point. It's, it's not. I mean, unless they just, you know, hit it as, like, a little bonus for when you actually get 3.0. Um, could be. Probably unlikely, but I think they would have hyped it up, so... I still expect it one of these days, though. 3.0 is not it. Uh, there's going to be more, you know, at least of... I mean, what? The game's been at out least for... four more. But no, you're right. It's completely possible to show up later. This it seems way more involved than anything, uh, you know, home run contest would be. Although it does give me hope that if they uh, have... Um, board the platforms return that every character will be unique again <laughs> they put this much if they put this much effort into stage builder who knows but uh what you can build what you can make your own build uh, uh, or break the target stages derek in the stage creator maybe i mean <laughs> that's the, that's gonna be the fun part of just exploring what you can do and what we can you know uh, you create with this i'm really looking forward to what people come up with yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun i really can't wait i love these i love all the sharing tools nintendo's made recently this one looks like a lot of fun um, and I can't wait to, to try it myself. Derek, any final thoughts at all about the 3.0 uh, update? I can't believe it's coming out tomorrow. Like it's, That's it's crazy! Like, waiting, waiting, like, when's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? Oh, it's random Tuesday night. Here you go. Have a 15-minute trailer talking about the 3.0 update in, in Joker. Yeah, the really wild what? thing is they, <laughs> they usually gave, like, I think a week's head up as to major updates so you could go back and save any videos you want to but they'd be rendered unplayable after that point. They didn't do that this time. <laughs> um, they, it surprised us. Uh, so that was a little bit... Uh, yeah, so it, kudos to Nintendo for like catching us completely off guard. Um, and also, uh, what do you think this means for a Direct, Derek? Because a lot of people were predicting that, or expecting this to be in Direct form, and they just dumped a trailer on us. I mean... <sighs> I, honestly, I don't even know if a direct's going to happen anymore. Like, maybe we'll see some stuff, but, you know, with us quickly... We're halfway through April, we only have May left, and then June. Why have a direct when we're going to have E3 yeah. pretty soon? And that, we already... I don't think a direct's happening anymore. 
the only way I could see a direct now is a Mario Maker 2 focus direct. Um, if they want to get out of the way before E3. They may not want to, um, but that's the only way I could really see at this point. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And yeah. maybe Cadence of Hyrule find a way to get that in there, but those are the only two things. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, Cadence, Cadence of Hyrule, I mean, that would be part of a normal direct, I think. Um, I think that's probably a game they could just throw out there, though. I mean, yeah. how much more can they tell us about it that they haven't already shown? So. <laughs> Good point. Hey, hey, now it's available. So, yeah, exactly. you're right. So, you're uh, Mario Maker 2 Direct, maybe, but otherwise, I don't think we're getting, like, the traditional Direct that everybody's predicting. Yeah, I we may not be at this point. So, all right, I think that covers it, huh, Derek? I think so. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked our discussion, make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain. You can find links to those in the description below. Uh, it's a good way to keep updated on everything we do, including a ton of covers tomorrow of 3.0. Oh, boy, we have a lot to cover. <laughs> yeah, we do. We're going to be busy, man. We got Joker. We got the Stage Builder. We'll probably check out the Video Editor. Smash World. We got a lot to get through, so we'll be busy. Um, and with that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Bye.